the stupendous time spans of the evolutionary past, about four billion years since the first life on Earth, are familiar to all educated people. Because we know that our sun formed four and a half billion years ago, but it's got about six billion years to go before it flares up and engulfs the inner planets. This means that post-human evolution, here on Earth and far beyond, could be as prolonged as the Darwinian evolution has led to us. And this future surely lies with the machines, evolving by design and natural selection. That's because there are chemical and metabolic limits to the size and processing power of wet organic brains. Maybe humans are close to those limits already, but there are no such constraints on computers. For them, the potential for further development could be as dramatic as the evolution from monocellular organisms to humans. So, by any definition of thinking, the amount and intensity that's done by organic human-type brains will in the far future be utterly swamped by the cerebrations of AI. Moreover, the Earth's biosphere, in which organic life has symbiotically evolved, is far from optimal for these machines. The zero gravity of interplanetary space will be the preferred arena when robotic fabricators will have the grandest scope for construction and where these non-biological brains may develop insights as far beyond our imaginings as string theory is from a monkey.